Just a co-pilot arrested at Metro Airport accused of being drunk. After the American Airlines co-pilot was taken into custody, that flight to Philadelphia was canceled. The co-pilot was then arrested after failing two breathalyzer tests. Jermont Terry is live from the airport tonight. And Jermont, it was TSA who first raised some suspicions. Yes, Sandra, and it appears that, that suspicions, their suspicions were correct. Now, you expect to see your pilot when you board an airplane, but for passengers on American Airlines Flight 736, they saw their co-pilot on the tarmac getting arrested, accused of coming to work drunk. This image, snapped by Jamie Blaine, shows exactly what passengers witnessed this morning at Detroit Metro Airport. They had him handcuffed and they were putting him into the vehicle. Blaine and her son Mitchell were heading to a spring break trip with other seniors from Gross Point North High School. Everyone was talking about it. They were kind of stunned, though, when they finally figured out what it was. An announcement first told them it was a different issue. 15, 20 minute delay, you know. It's a seat problem. And they're like, okay. By the time airport police arrived, Jamie laughed at first. And they go, oh, there's the police car. You know, they're gonna come and they're coming to get somebody. And then, then I looked out and saw them walking. I went, oh, they really are. <laughs> it turns out TSA reported the American Airlines co-pilot was acting strange, as if he had been drinking. Airport police gave him a breathalyzer test, which he failed. The pilot from Philadelphia also failed a second test at the Romulus Police Department. They canceled the entire flight. Glad that I'm safe and they got him. American Airlines tells us this is a serious matter and we are assisting local law enforcement and the Federal Aviation Administration with this investigation. We will handle this matter appropriately as the safety and care of our customers and employees is our highest priority. But for now, their suitcases sit at the front door waiting for another flight and hopefully something more from America. We're going to file a complaint to see if they'll compensate us for all of the trouble. Now, according to the FAA's website, on average, 12 pilots fail the breathalyzer test across the country every year. Now, you have to blow less than a .04. It's unclear today what this pilot here at Detroit Metro blew. Reporting live from the airport tonight, Jermont Terry, Local 4. Yeah, and Jermont, obviously glad everyone is safe. What about those seniors from Gross Point North? I mean, is their entire trip at this point canceled? Well, there's some good news there, Sandra. No, their trip isn't completely canceled. They are scheduled to get on the same flight tomorrow morning at 6 uh, o'clock. Hopefully, they'll make it to Philadelphia and eventually to Punakana for their vacation. Yeah, just quite an inconvenience for a lot of folks today. All right, thank you, Jermont.